All right. Um, I got a question for you. Okay, yeah. make sure you. <laughs> a man buys a horse for sixty dollars. Uh -huh. He sells the horse for seventy dollars. Yeah. He then buys the horse back for eighty dollars, and he sells the horse again for ninety dollars. In the end, how much money did the man make or lose, or did he break even? I'll give you some time. Ten dollars. $10? Mm -hmm. Why is it $10? Okay, read it again. I'll go through the math. Okay. Okay. A man buys a horse for $60. Yes. He sells the horse for $70. So you made $10. So he makes $10 even. He then buys a horse back for $8. He lost $10, so he's at zero. Okay. He sells the horse again for $90. So he made $10 altogether. Okay. So, in the end, how much money did a man make or lose? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Based on your math? Yeah. Read it again. All right. A man buys a horse for sixty dollars, mm -hmm. right? He sells the horse for seventy dollars, so yeah. he made ten dollars. He then buys the horse back for eighty dollars, yeah. right? Yeah. So now he's out that ten dollars, right? Uh -huh. He sells the horse again for ninety dollars. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's ninety dollars. It's ten dollars. He's out. So a man buys a horse for sixty dollars, right? Yeah. So then he sells a horse for ninety dollars. Are you going to say it's thirty dollars, or it's going to be seventy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But how many transactions went on, or? How many trans transactions in that theory? Four. Four transactions. Yeah. He bought it, then he sold it, then he bought it, then he sold it. So, okay. So he made two sales, mm -hmm. right? In that transaction. Yeah. Did he earn ten dollars each? Mm. A man buys a horse for sixty dollars, and he sold it for seventy. He bought it for eighty, then he sold for ninety. Yeah. Ten dollars each. That's right. So he made $20. Oh, yeah. He made $10? Yes. So. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. All right. He invested $60. So you will start that as 60, a negative 60, right? Uh huh. Then he sold it for 70, so you'll add 70, right? Uh huh. And then he buys a horse back for 80, right? Right. So what's the difference between 70 and 80? 60. 70, 80, it's not 60, it's 10. <laughs> 10, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So there's 60, negative 60, plus 70, right? Mm -hmm. It's 10. And then the difference, he's, so he sold it for 70. Yeah. Okay, so he's at 10 right now. Right. But he's got to buy it for 80. So he has a negative 10 again invested. Huh. Right? Okay. okay. So this is zero. Right. You see it? Okay. Right. Now he sold the horse for ninety dollars. Right. So what's the difference between ninety and eighty? Ten dollars. Yeah. So he Th that's what made I'm... ten dollars compared to the eighty. So you add ten dollars. There's ten dollars. Huh. You gotta take the investment out. Yeah, so like maybe to some people they think it's 20 bucks. Yeah. They're like, hey, no, he bought it for, uh, you know, 60 and then he sold the horse for 70. Maybe if that was two different horses, but it says the horse. Like say I bought a horse and I sold You mean for like 70. the same horse? Yeah, because it says the. So I bought, if it says I bought a horse and I sold the horse and I bought another horse and then I sold that horse. That will be 20, because that will be two different <laughs> items. So when you do it like that, it says the. So that would be why it's $10. Yep. That's how you did it. I just showed you the math. Yeah, I still think it's $20. Though. Well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is how you read English. Use the. He, see, look. A man buys a horse for $60, uh -huh. right? Yeah. He sells the horse for 70 so uh -huh. he made 10 bucks right then he buys the referring to this uh -huh. horse back for 80 dollars. so he oh. missed he um he lost 10 dollars right 
Okay, so he's at what? He sold it for t 70 and he's always negative, right? Mm -hmm. He's at negative. So, as I showed you, it's going to be a zero. Mm -hmm. He sells the horse again for $90. Mm -hmm. So, he made 10 bucks because the difference between 90 and 80 is 10. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could think whatever you want, but I showed you the math. So, okay. Well, I think you sold it. Thank you.